everyone and welcome to day three of vlogmas i don't know if i'm gonna be daily vlogging but at least for these couple of days it feels like i am because every day has actually been eventful enough for me to make a full vlog out of it i think in the past years my problem was that like i lived by myself and i didn't do anything so it would just be the same thing over and over again and i felt it was boring and there wasn't much to show but i feel like an official youtuber doing vlogmas in la because every youtuber ever lives here and they all do it here so i'm like this is so fun i feel like i'm legit now so i just edited my day two vlog and I'm waiting for it to export and then I'm gonna upload it. It is 8 45. I have my coffee here. I had one of my chocolate croissants that I got yesterday, 10 out of 10. And today, I think our one fun thing is that I might go ice skating with my friend Liron, who I was with last night, and then my friend Nicole, who didn't end up coming last night because me and Liron were just like talking about like fun things we could do. Because I was like, you know what? I could daily vlog, but I just need like fun content for every day so that it doesn't feel repetitive and boring. And she was like, I'm so down to just like do stuff for the vlog. So I was like, perfect. Let's do all the holiday festivities. So there's a really cute outdoor ice skating rink in downtown in the financial district and I think we might go there which is so fun because I love ice skating so much and when I was back home we have a Chris Kindle market like in the Christmas time and they have an outdoor ice skating rink that I love going to. When I lived there and I didn't get to go this time because all the tickets were sold out for it so I was like dang I really still want to go ice skating this season so very excited for that if we do end up going and if not today I still want to work on the body suit and kind of perfect the fit a little bit and I do want to do laundry but it's a little rainy right now and I don't know if I want to be going back and forth from like the laundry room to my apartment because I have to walk outside to do that in the rain so might wait on that but those are my initial thoughts I will get back to you when I'm done with all this okay it's that time in the vlog where we have to open up the next one this one I don't think I've actually opened up at all so I'm excited to actually see what it is. Day two. All of these are so light, so they can't actually be anything like crazy, obviously. And I got this for free, so it's not like I expect it to be like a really good gifts every day. Oh, we got some stickers. How fun. That's, I got a crying laughing emoji. Little TikTok like to make more whatever. Yeah, that. <laughs> one that says TikTok. And then this one, kind of cute. I might put them on my laptop case because that's the only place I have stickers currently, but kind of fun, honestly. Really cute. So there is that. That is day two, everybody. I'm still waiting for my video to upload, so I'm kind of just gonna probably answer some emails and stuff in the meantime and just get situated there, and then we'll continue with the bodysuit. I'm thinking I might just do like a random little sale right now for all of these pieces that I have pre-made from this year. There's very few of each left. There's like maybe two, three of each left. So there's really not too much, but I just want to get rid of it so I can start fresh next year. So I might just do like a hefty sale and I think I'm just going to like announce it soon, but I'm going to switch my website because I think it's still on like the made to order kind of settings and switch it so that I have all the sizes of each and just the quantity of each and that'll be it. And I don't know if I'm ever going to like produce these again. I still have like some of this fabric left of all of these so it's like i could theoretically make them again come spring summer of next year but i don't know if i'm feeling it yet so i want to get rid of these first and then maybe we'll bring them back maybe we won't but just want to get rid of these so i think i'm going to set up my website for that now and just announce the sale today so I feel like by this point, everybody who has followed me for a hot minute already knows this, but I use Squarespace for my website. And I feel like everybody uses Shopify and I tried to switch over to Shopify one time. I think like going into 2021, I took like a little break between December and January and I was gonna switch it all to Shopify. Like I started building my shop there. But for whatever reason, I just really didn't like the interface of it. And I didn't, like, I just didn't like it at all. It didn't feel right for me. So I went right back to Squarespace because I just love like the aesthetic of it. I like how like easy it is to use. I like the templates. I just like really love the way it is a lot better than I love Shopify, which is so like weird because literally everybody uses Shopify and loves it, but I just like didn't, it didn't click for me. So so, you know, I'm still on Squarespace and I honestly love it. So I took a little inventory of all the pieces that I have and the sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and fix my little inventory on here. I don't know how much of a discount I'm going to give, but I think it's going to be pretty hefty because I just really want to get rid of this stuff. So that's kind of what I'm thinking.
So I just updated the website. I put everything at 40% off that I'm like trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna post a little post about it. Made a little graphic like this on Adobe Express. And then I put a couple other pictures on there from the spring collection photo shoot, which is literally my favorite photo shoot I've ever done ever. And I can't wait to do another one like this soon, but I just like really haven't put out a collection like that or like had the time to do it. Cause I obviously had the New York collection and I planned on doing a photo shoot here with it, but Never got around to it, collection didn't really do well, so I don't know, maybe I'll do another shoot with it within the next year, because I'm still gonna have the collection up, I'm not just gonna like take it down, I think I just haven't marketed it enough. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It is now up. I'm gonna put it on my story. I have no idea how this is gonna do, because I posted yesterday, because my stuff is now on shopzero.com, and that post flopped like no other. And it's such a beautiful picture, and I got 187 likes only on this, which like, it's a decent amount, but I literally have 30,000 followers, so like the ratio does not add up. And I'm really upset about it because I hadn't posted a picture in like a week or two. So I was really hoping this one would do well because usually when you don't post for a while and then you post it like notifies your like followers like, oh, this person hasn't posted in recent and just posted something. And I feel like it like pushes it more sometimes, but it flopped really hard. And I'm really upset about it because I'm obsessed with the photos that I got from that. But anyway, we'll see how this one does. I'm hoping, hoping she does well, but it says you're signed to follow me on Instagram so you can support me because it is rough out here. Anyway, now that that's going, my YouTube video should be almost ready. It's officially uploaded. It's going through the little checking process that YouTube now does. It says it has 10 minutes left, so we should be close to having it published, which I'm excited about because I really haven't told anybody that I'm doing daily, so I'm excited to see the reaction to that. Even though my videos have also kind of been flopping a little bit, um, but you know what? This one at least has some like pattern drafting in it, which I feel like usually gathers people's attention, so hopefully it does a little bit better, but it's a very long vlog for one day. I literally don't know how I managed to talk so much in one day, but here we are. I'm gonna finish this up and then, I don't know, we'll figure something else out. Things are flopping right now. I thought it's a great time <laughs> to make some chocolate chip cookies. I honestly, I wanted to make these yesterday, but at that point, the vlog was already so long. I was like, I cannot put making cookies into this vlog too. So saved it for today. I really hope my posts actually like reach people because I feel like there are actually people that want to shop that collection for a cheaper price that like maybe weren't able to when it first dropped. But like, I feel like nobody's seeing my posts. I went through like a good, I feel like this whole year has been a flop. And then like I randomly the past couple like weeks slash month, like, you know, I had the one viral video in October and then like again in November. So I'm like kind of went back up to normal and now I feel like I'm flopping again. And like flopping is okay, but I think it's just so frustrating because you never know how long you're going to flop for. Like this whole year has been a flop and like that was, that was a lot. But then it's like, maybe I'll just flop for a couple weeks and then I'll be back home. Like, you just never know. So anyway, I don't know why I was about to open this without even knowing what I have to do with it. Honestly, I've been craving these cookies so much since I got them yesterday. So I'm really excited to actually make these. Cookies are done, they smell so good. It's about like lunchtime, so I'm probably gonna eat my leftovers from yesterday, but I also wanted to show you guys what the bodysuit is looking like. So this is kind of where we're at with it. It fits like pretty snugly now, which I really like. Obviously this is a little bit better now. Also keep in mind there's like seam allowance on this, so it's not like, you know, fully there. And then I did end up just doing like a cut here. Obviously I'm gonna like finish all the edges and whatever, but I think I'm just gonna put a little button at the top to close it off um, so she can just get into it easily and then this is what the bottom looks like. I went ahead and ordered that like clear elastic that they use for like bathing suits, leotards, bodysuits, whatever to finish off the edges so that it's like 
cinched in so i have to wait till that comes in to finish off the edges of this and actually be able to finish it but i like where it's going and i feel like i, I feel good about like the actual fit of it now i'm kind of seeing where it's going the only thing is i accidentally like stretched the neckline a little bit too much when i was like pulling it up and so now it's like a little little loose so i need to figure that out i feel like maybe with the elastic i'll be able to like kind of get it back to its original shape but i don't know maybe i'll have to figure that out or redo it or something but that's where it's at so we did actually you know get through with it yesterday a bit but can't really do much more with it until i get the rest of the stuff so i do think i could start on a couple other like custom order projects i have a couple orders for the like heart dress from the me music video from the lover era and i do have at least the sequin fabrics for it i haven't found the organza fabric for it yet or like chiffon whatever fabric but i do have the pink sequins and red sequins i also have the mirror ball dress fabric that i could get started on and also the floral grammy dress fabric so i could start with any of those i might actually do the floral one because i think that one needs to be sent earlier obviously like the tour dates start in march so I'm trying to prioritize those. I'm pretty sure the floral one is for one of the first dates. And I think for the underneath, I'm gonna use the like tan satin that I have that I used for the Adele tops and stuff. Cause I still have a good amount of that left and it's like the perfect, just like neutral color to go under. So I think I'm just gonna do that. We might start on that after lunch. I need to debate, but I feel like I should start on the floral one probably. And I think I'm also gonna do a pattern for that one. Cause that one's been requested quite a bit. So we'll see. So like I said, lunchtime. So I have leftovers from yesterday. It's not honestly too much, but I'm definitely gonna be eating some cookies after, so whatever. I also am so excited because a lot of YouTubers will do Vlogmas, like they'll vlog December 1st and then upload it December 2nd. So a lot of like my favorite Vlogmas are officially up today. So I'm very excited to actually be able to watch those while I eat and while I kind of like prep how I want to go about the floral Grammy dress because I'm trying to figure out like the underneath part like what shape I should do if it should just be like a general just like princess lines or like the longer darts also I need to figure out how to like properly put the floral onto it like attach it like should it be attached should it be like over the top like two separate pieces I need to figure that out but I'm excited I think it's gonna be so beautiful the fabric is 10 out of 10 so just need to like think about it a little bit okay i just ate and i want to try one of these cookies and let you guys know if it's good these are the trader joe's almond chocolate chip cookies that i got yesterday or like the mix that i got yesterday and they smell delicious they look great so cheers they're good but they're a lot more almondy than i thought they would be but not bad i'm enjoying it not too bad Anyway, plans changed for tonight. Not going ice skating. We'll be hanging out with my friends though. Okay, so I'm looking at this floral fabric again. I'm thinking I can't, I don't want to use the tan satin like I said. I think I want to buy like a mesh or something like just like stretchier that goes under because I feel like that's what Taylor was wearing. So it'd be a little bit more accurate, maybe more comfortable too. And the only thing with this fabric is it has all flowers here at the bottom, but then the top of the fabric doesn't it like kind of fades into having more which is really beautiful but obviously the dress just has like all the flowers so i'm wondering if i even have enough to like really cover the whole dress i might have to like just take some of these like cut them out and like sew them on or something to try to make use of like all the fabric but that's like what i'm noticing right now so i think i might actually just start with the heart dress instead just at least the base of it kind of figure how to figure out how to do that because i think that i just need to go by fabric for this to figure it out fully i'm thinking for these they have like a little bit of stretch to them so i think i'm just gonna use the diana dress like um pattern which is this one for the base of it because it's just like a classic kind of bodycon dress except the skirt doesn't like cinch in it just like goes down which is exactly what it looks like so i think i'm gonna use that pattern to make the base of it and then i made a little pattern for the heart which is with the red fabric and i'm just gonna like stitch it on top and kind of see what that looks like like i said i don't have the organza yet but i think i can at least get that started and kind of see what it looks like Obviously, it is not like pinned in the back. I love this dress 
so much. And to me, it's like super funny that so many people want this dress because it's from the Me Music video. And it's like the one song from Taylor Swift that most people just like do not like at all. So to me, it's just ironic that everybody wants this dress that is completely correlated to that song, but everybody tends to hate that one, which, you know, it's not my favorite either, but I think it's a fun song. I like the concept of it, but it was just funny when Lover came out and that was like the lead single and we were all just like, huh? So anyway, I just think it's kind of funny. I also kind of forgot that I need to buy lining for this one too, because mesh is always see-through. So most sequin fabrics are see-through and also they're just really itchy if you don't have any lining under. So I need to buy some as well. I also think I definitely should have put the heart on it before like putting the back to the front, but oh well. I just want to see what it generally looks like. And I wanted to make sure that like the shape was all right for it. And like, I don't have to alter the pattern for it. Okay, there it is all pinned up. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. This is so pretty. This on its own would be so pretty too. But of course we're gonna have the little red heart that kind of just goes like this, which is really cool. And then obviously I'll need like the little like high neck piece. And then I also need to make the cuffs out of this fabric, but it's just so beautiful. Oh my God, I am obsessed with this. Anyway, I think I'm gonna look online for some lining that'll work for this and then also for the floral dress. Because I love going, obviously, fabric shopping in person, but sometimes I get a little flustered with it. So I've been looking some up online, especially for things like that that are just, like, easy to just find. So I might do that, but how pretty is this? So my favorite place to shop for fabrics online is usually Mood. It is a little bit more expensive, but you'd get really high quality fabrics and I feel like I can always trust it. I have recently ordered some from Etsy as well. Like the sequins that I've gotten have been from Etsy. Mine is the red one. Those I want in person, but those have been pretty good too. I feel like whenever I'm looking for a very specific color, I feel like Etsy does really fine things. But for something like this lining, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and look on Mood because it just is trusty. And I have like the awards like point system, which is kind of nice because they do actually add up for me quite a bit since I do use it a lot. Change of plans. I'm going out. So I was texting my friend Megan just about other things and she was like, oh, how's Vlogmas going? I was like, you know, it's good. I'm like getting myself to go out and do things, which is necessary because I've been like just in here doing nothing for the past three weeks. I mean, doing things, but just haven't left the house much. And she was like, well, if you want anything to do, there's somebody in my neighborhood is getting rid of like their sewing studio and a bunch of clothes and fabrics if you want to go with me. And I was like, oh, yes. So I think I'm going to head over there now. I'm debating whether or not I should like dress cuter or if I should just go like this. It's like a gloomy day out today. So I just don't feel like dressing up. You know what I mean? So I might just, I don't know. I might just go like this, whatever. Cute. Cute. Fun reformation bag. This is so cute. There's so much. So much variety. Wow, that's so cute. That, I like that. Woo! 10 out of 10. Okay, so I just got back and it was so cool the girl who like was running it actually owns like a sustainable fashion company too this is her page so she does a lot of clothing swaps and things like that and it was just a lot of excess inventory that she had that she just was giving away for free so me and megan just like rummaged through all of that and got some actually pretty decent things she had a lot of like wholesale reformation things that were like maybe a little bit damaged and stuff so we got a few pieces there and i also guys she had this sewing machine, which, hold on. Before anybody yells at me for buying yet another machine, I didn't buy it, it was free. So, I don't wanna hear it. She's beautiful. The fact that I had to leave mine behind in Indiana, and I was so sad about it. And she just has this laying there and she's like, yeah, nobody, I've tried to sell it. Nobody's picked it up. It's so beautiful. Like I have to get rid of it. I was like, you're kidding. I was like, I just had to get rid of mine because I was moving. It's so beautiful. And obviously it doesn't come with a full table. So it's a little bit easier to manage. I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I do not have room for it, but we're going to make it work because it's beautiful. It still has like the original freaking like wood cover. I love it. 
so beautiful so that was like the main thing i got i then got a bunch of like wraps of this really beautiful floral fabric thought it would be cute to make little like i don't know bralettes or something for the spring i got this reformation dress with tags super cute i got this red skirt that is damaged in the back it's ripped but i was like i don't know i feel like i could easily like upcycle this somehow so grab that got girlfriend collective freaking leggings like with tags incredible i also grabbed this dress it's like a mesh mesh dress but i really liked the print and i thought i could make like a cute top out of it love these mesh type of tops this one's like a full dress but just figured i could make a top out of it it's cute i got another fabric here and then more just scraps of fabric but really excited about it really great finds but this is by far my favorite. So I spent a little bit of time editing. I called my parents and I just showered clearly. And I'm about to make dinner and I just don't feel like cooking. So thank God I got some pre-made stuff because I literally just do not feel like making anything right now. We will just be making some of this fried rice. And then we will be heading over to Nicole's after this, which I'm excited for. I love hanging out with friends and just having chill nights as well. But I also like low-key have a headache and I think it's because of the weather. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like any time that the weather is like super nice and then it gets gloomy, I get like really, really bad headaches just from like the switch of things. So I'm not feeling great, which is also why I just don't feel like cooking anything right now. But you know what? I'm gonna, we're gonna do what we can. So let's get cooking. 